Hello and welcome to Morris Park. Today on Morris Park, I'm going to show you a neat little euphorbia. This is one that isn't often seen in collections. I uh, got this uh, plant probably, oh, 36, 37 years ago. I bought it from the uh, California Cactus Center out in Pasadena, California. This is Euphorbia decarii, Varspira stitcha. Um, it's a little different from the uh, normal uh, Euphorbia decarii, if you uh, have ever seen this plant. This is a really cool little Euphorbia. <clears throat> it forms these little mats of uh, stems, as you can see, and all these little crinkly leaves. This is a really cool plant. When I started this plant, it was only a couple of these little stems, like this. And I had to pay about $5 for uh, a little plant. But it proved to be a great plant. And this isn't the only uh, plant of this I have now. This plant's been divided up. <clears throat> and I also have this one right here. This one gets a little more sunlight, so it's kind of more of a uh, bronzy color. You can see the stem's a little more not so uh, green as the other one. You can see where it gets a little more shade. It's a little more green. I'm uh, tempted to think that this is going to like a little more shade. The one in the shade seems to do so much better. And as you can see, kind of down in there, the leaves are a little greener. So I might kind of uh, put this one in more shade. But you can see how much this uh, plant has grown from the original uh, small cuttings that I had. They do good in these little low pots. Now when this plant blooms, it's uh, much like a Euphorbia mylai in the way the flowers look. Um, except for they're a lot smaller and they're kind of tan in color. I think, let's see here. I can focus in on this. It's kind of hard to focus in with this little thing. Anyways, I was trying to show you some of the remnants of uh, one of the flowers here. You can see right there. They're really tiny. That's just one of the little dried up remnants. And uh, they usually get these in the springtime. Little tan flowers that look just like the Mylai flowers. Just not uh, so showy in their uh, colors. Really cool plant. Now this plant has a habit when it grows. Of these little uh, branches terminating they'll grow to a certain length and then they'll just kind of terminate and then they'll get a little side shoot to make up for the uh, tip but the tips always seem to uh, dry back it doesn't kill the whole branch and they'll last that way for years it just the, the very tips of them dry up as you can see right here is this little dry nub that little tip there is actually dead but the rest of the branch is still quite pliable it is still alive and you can see a little side shoot right down below the uh, tip. Now I'm going to get these little uh, branches sticking out all over it. Like you see here, that one I think has got a little tiny leaf left on it. But you can trim these off as you go. If, if they get to be looking a little unsightly, that's what I do. If they get the sticking out all over like a bunch of caterpillars all over it, as you see here. Um, then I just trim them off and the little side shoots take over and, and they grow in its place. This Euphorbia is from Madagascar. Um, like the type uh, plant, Euphorbia decarii, it kind of inhabits uh, dry forest areas and such, not really out in the full sun. That's what's leading me now to believe this other one I have uh, being the reddish color that it is. Probably needs a little more shade. But this uh, Euphorbia is very easy to grow. I've given this to a few people now, and uh, I'm hoping that they're going to enjoy this plant. You can see what a great little mound of just crinkly leaves it makes. It makes a really beautiful plant. A really good display plant. Looks great in these little low bowls. They work great in bonsai pots too. I've grown these in little uh, bonsai pots until they outgrew them. They're a tough little plant. I've never had really any problems with this plant. Just enjoyed the shape. It's been a great little plant. You can kind of see how this thing grows. All these little stems that kind of uh, stick out everywhere. And they grow by little rhizomes kind of underneath the plant too. As the plant grows, it'll put out these little rhizomes and keep spreading out and spreading out. 
and it'll actually fill the whole pot full of these rhizomes. And before you know it, it's nothing but rhizomes. I just transplanted this plant uh, back in the spring. It was getting pretty tight in this little pot. It's been there for quite a few years. It really liked the uh, transplant, as you see. It's a really nice, beautiful plant. I've seen the leaves of these, and this is a curious thing. I've seen the leaves of these fall off, and they uh, will actually root. But I have never had one of the leaves, even though it has rooted and it'll last quite a while, uh, turn into a new plant. It has never uh, turned into a new plant. If anybody out there has one of these and has had one grow from a leaf, actually, let me know. Anyway, I just wanted to share this cool little Euphorbia decarii spiral stitcher with you. A uh, unusual Euphorbia. Not quite like the uh, cactiform types that we're uh, all into. But just a really cool little plant. Very easy little plant. If you never uh, get a chance to get one of these, I recommend this one. I think you'll really like it. This is Clyde Morris from Morris Park. I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye-bye.